A promise of God can never be torn away. Walking on hands of angels crushing snakes. Safe from hurt in the shadow of Yah's wings. Our fortress and our strength. Our fortress and our strength. Yes, we have been liberated. Back from the dead we've come. We're taking back our freedom. The battle has been won. Yes, the battle has been won. In Yahushua HaMashiach, in Yahweh El Shaddai, we are victorious. In Yahushua HaMashiach, blessed be the King of glory. Riding on justice, trampling down every foe under his hoofs under his feet. Yes, blessed be justice of Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you, Yahweh. We agree with you. We give thanks unto you in everything. In the name of our Adon Yahushua HaMashiach. Aman. I come unto you today, my brothers and sisters, blessed and highly favored to Yahushua HaMashiach. I am thankful for you. And this is the confidence that we have in Yah, that if we ask anything according to Yehovah's will, He heareth us. And we know that He hears us whatsoever we ask, and we know that we have the petitions we desire of Yahweh, of Yehovah, name Yahushua HaMashiach, Amen. I apologize about that, my brother and sister, someone uh, drove up unexpectedly, one of their animals had broken loose, so they gave me a number to, in case they, I see their animal or whatever to come back. We thank you, Father in heaven, for blessing them that their animal would make it home safe. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, Amen. Hold on, my sister and brothers. All right, here we go. We paused at Yod Hei Vav Hei 26. All right, I thank you, Abba Yah. I thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. We ask that you would help us in all ways and all things. Thank you for this greater understanding you've given unto me and that you'll give unto my brothers and sisters the solid food that they need. Thank you for if they can accept the milk of the word, I pray that they can accept the solid food, the, the cheese of the word, because in Hebrew, okma is related to cheese and cheese making and wine fermentation. So if they can handle the milk, then let them partake of the cheese and the, the bread and the wine and the oil. Hallelujah. Amen. Here we go. We're in the stick of Yosef, and we're going to read on verse 24. Chapter 7, verse 24. Yea, I say unto you, great are the reasons which we have to mourn. For behold, how many of our brethren have been slain, and their blood has been spilt in vain. And all because of iniquity, all because of lawlessness. For if this people had not fallen into transgression, Yahweh, Jehovah, would not have suffered this great evil should come upon them but behold they would not hearken unto his words but they but there arose contentions among them even so much that they did shed blood among themselves and a prophet of yahweh jehovah have they slain yea a chosen man of yah a chosen man of god who told them of their wickedness and abominations and prophesied of many things which are to come yea even the coming of mashiach even the coming of christ as they say in english and because he said unto them that Mashiach was the God, the Father of all things, and said that he should take upon him the image of man, and it should be the image after which man was created in the beginning. Or in other words, he said that man was created after the image of God, and that God should come down among the children of men and take upon him flesh and blood and go forth upon the face of the earth. And now because he said this, they did put the prophet of Yahweh, they did put the prophet to death. And many more things did they do, and they did, and many more things did they do, which brought down the wrath of Yahweh, the wrath of God upon them. Therefore, who wondereth that they are in bondage, and that they are smitten with sore afflictions? For behold, Yahweh, Jehovah, has said, I will not succor my people in the day of their transgression, but I will hedge up their ways that they prosper not, and their doings shall be as a stumbling block before them. And again he saith, If my people shall sow filthiness, they shall reap the chaff thereof in the whirlwind, and the effect thereof is poison. All right. And again he saith, If my people shall sow filthiness, they shall reap the chaff thereof, in the whirlwind, and the effect thereof is poison. 
And again he saith, If my people shall sow filthiness, they shall reap the east wind, which bringeth immediate destruction. And now behold, the promise of Yahweh, Jehovah, is fulfilled, and ye are smitten and afflicted. But if ye will turn to Yahweh, to Jehovah, with full purpose of heart, and put your trust in Yah, and serve Yah with all diligence of mind, if you do this, he will, according to his own will and pleasure, deliver you out of bondage in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. All right. So then we're going to go here to give you um, further information and background about what has happened here. This is from the same book, and this is chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. Um, and the Holy Spirit says to read, to give background about what has happened here in the Americas and what is about to happen if the people do not repent of their abominations and iniquities, their lawlessness. Here we go. And it came to pass that after the space of two years, that Abinadi, Abinadi in English, it's a Hebrew word, Abinadi Nadi means, my father is present with you, my father is present with us, my father is present, and he is, and blessed be the father who is present with us now, Yahweh, Yahushua, Hamashiach, Hallelujah, Amen. And it came to pass that after the space of two years that Abinadi came among them in disguise, that they knew him not, and began to prophesy among them, saying, Thus has Yahweh, Jehovah, commanded me, saying, Abinadi, go and prophesy unto this my people, for they have hardened their hearts against my words. They have repented not of their evil doings. Therefore I will visit them in mine anger. Yea, in my fierce anger will I visit them in their iniquities and their abominations. Yea, woe be unto this generation. And Yahweh said unto me, Stretch forth thy hand and prophesy, saying... Okay, so here again you have, Stretch forth thy hand. Remember, in the stick of Yahudah, Yahweh, Yehovah, told Moses, Moshe, st stretch forth thy hand over the sea. Now he's telling this prophet... Abinadi to stretch forth his hand and prophesy. So when the rod is stretched forth or the hand is stretched forth, you better watch out. All right? And here we go. And the Holy Spirit says, stretch forth your hand as you do it, Raphael. So I stretch forth my hand as I do it. And I stretch forth this hand too. Stretch forth your right hand, my son. So I stretch forth my right hand right now with the camera towards the trees in the sun. All right. <clears throat> yea, woe be unto this generation. And Jehovah said unto me, Stretch forth thine hand and prophesy, saying, Thus saith Yahuwah, Yahweh, it shall come to pass that this generation, because of their iniquities, their lawlessness, shall be brought into bondage, and shall be smitten upon the cheek, yea, and shall be driven by men, and shall be slain, and the vultures of the air, and the dogs, yea, and the wild beasts shall devour their flesh. And it shall come to pass that the life of King Noah shall be valued even as a garment in, in a hot furnace, for he shall know that I am Yahweh, Yehovah, and it shall come to pass that I will smite this my people with the sore afflictions, yea, with famine and with pestilence, and I will cause that they shall howl all the day long, yea, and I will cause that they shall have burdens lashed upon their backs, and they shall be driven before like a dumbass. And it shall come to pass that I will send forth hail among them, and it shall smite them, and they shall also be smitten with the east wind, and insects shall pester their land also and devour their grain, and they shall be smitten with a great pestilence, and all this will I do because of their iniquities and abominations, and it shall come to pass that except they repent, I will utterly, I will utterly destroy them from off the face of the earth, yet they shall leave a record behind them. Yet they shall leave a record behind them, and I will preserve them for other nations which shall possess the land. Yea, even this will I do, that I may discover the abominations of this people to other nations. And many things did Abinadi prophesy against this people. And we see that his prophecy is fulfilled, for I am reading from this record to you right now, today. You are hearing it. All right. And I thank you, Yahweh. I pray. Humbly, Father in heaven, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, in the name of the common name they say, Jesus Christ, in the common name of Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, the holy name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I come unto you through our Yeshua. I pray for the repentance of the United States of America. I pray for every single citizen, every single national, every single sovereign to repent in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, to come unto Yeshua and taste and see that Yahweh, Yehovah, that the Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, is good and that you would taste and that you would 
have faith in Yahushua HaMashiach and that you would repent. But nevertheless, if you do not, it is not upon me, for I wash my garments pure and I, I shake my garments of your dust and your garments, your blood is not spotted on my garments, for I pray for you and I forgive you and I release you unto Yahweh, Yehovah and Yahushua HaMashiach to do as he will. And I release this quarter of the earth to be done and I hand it over to Yahweh, Yahushua HaMashiach to fulfill and do his bidding, his pleasure, his will. And now I will let you know more about the four winds because the Holy Spirit gave this to me and I said the word of Yah, the word of God here upon the earth, the Holy Scriptures, as I did with the stick of Yahud, I do with the stick of Yosef as one in one in Yahushua HaMashiach, our Yeshua, our Godel Goel, our great Redeemer. Godel is great and Goel is Redeemer. I bless you, my brothers and sisters, throughout Godel Goel, Yahushua HaMashiach, the mighty one of Yasarel, the holy one of Yekov. This is the 15th or of the ninth month, or the month of Benjamin, the year 6001, the year of Yah. Four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds. Revelation 7-1. Four angels of the four corners. Michael, the guardian angel of the north. Elemental angel of fire. Raphael, guardian angel of the east. Elemental angel of air. Gabriel, guardian angel of the west. Elemental angel angel of water, Uriel, guardian angel of the south, elemental angel of earth, the four angels of the four winds, Michael, angel of the east wind and morning wind. So Michael is the angel of the east wind, the east wind that brings destruction, what we're reading, Michael. There's no coincidence, okay? There's no such thing as coincidence. There's no, there's no such thing as coincidence. All of these things are happening on purpose, Yahweh, Yehovah's purpose. Raphael, the angel of the west wind and evening wind. Gabriel, the angel of the north wind and midnight wind. And Uriel, angel of the south wind and noonday wind. And I bless you through 